All right, you guys. I'm not really camera ready, but I'm just here playing with my mannequin. And I want to show you guys like an easy updo that you can do on your daughters. Um, I don't know if you could really do it on yourself. It would definitely be hard. So, bear with me because this mannequin is synthetic hair, which means it's like super slippery and annoying. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take this top section of hair. I did clip out the front because I'm going to do a braid on that. But so you take this top section. And you're just going to brush it. She has like the worst cowlick right here. So this will look a lot better on somebody who has real hair and not a mannequin. So then you're going to take an elastic. And then you're just gonna put an elastic right in the crown of her hair. The planes are flying real low today, so you'll hear a lot of that. And then you're gonna kind of pull out that hair a little bit and flip right through and then you tighten it up a little bit then this is the fun part you're gonna take little pieces and just kind of pull ever so slightly out her hair really stinks right in this section so it's not gonna give me the like perfect bump that it would a normal human so you're just kind of deconstructing The more you deconstruct, the bigger it gets. All right, so I'm just gonna brush that. So now in a similar fashion, I'm gonna take a piece from here. This definitely works better with the clear elastics, but I'm home and I ain't got them. So, black it is. So now you're taking a piece again from both sides. And then you're taking an elastic. Popping that hair through. Pulling it. And then taking little pieces and pulling them out to give some volume. And we're gonna bobby pin things in place after, so don't worry too much about that stuff. So and again, I'm gonna take pieces from both sides underneath the ponytails that you guys already started. You guys, like you guys are following along. I'm sure everyone has a mannequin head and plays with mannequin heads on Sundays like I do. So I'm gonna take the ponytail. And then you're gonna flip it through. Pull it. And then lightly pull out random pieces. No curl and iron necessary. All you need is some hair, some long hair. All right. So then as you start running out of hair on the bottom, you can just start taking from the back of those gathered ponytails. 
anybody who knows what's synthetic, this is kind of like Barbie hair, so it's just like harder to work with. It tangles a lot, but one of my friends owns a bridal store in Arlington, Camilla's Bridal. She's amazing, so any of you brides who need some beautiful dresses, go check her out, but she asked me if I had any mannequins lying around that I could put into updo so she could showcase her headpieces at her bridal shop. So I said, sure do. All right, so similar fashion, you bring in those two pieces, you're gonna flip them through. You're gonna tighten, and then you're gonna pull pieces out. And then I'm going to take again two pieces from the back. I'm going to brush them. I'm going to grab an elastic. And then I'm going to pop that through. Tighten it up. And then pull out so you can kind of see how it's almost starting to look like a mermaid tail it's like a fake version of a fishtail an easy version of a fishtail I should say alright so you take in two pieces one from each side again So one on each side. Feels weird, hold on. I feel like I'm pulling from the same pony. Pop that through, tighten it up, and then pull pieces out. So it's the same exact technique just repeat it over and over again until you end up at the bottom and there's nothing left. So I'm gonna flip that through, tighten it up, and then pull out pieces. You can see how pretty it looks. It looks so, like something so intricate and detailed when in reality it's such an easy thing to do. So taking two pieces, putting the elastic in, flipping it through, pulling it tight, and then deconstructing. I'm going to take two more pieces. Wrapping the elastic. Popping the hair through. Doing it again. 
taking two pieces, putting them over, grabbing an elastic. Taking the elastic, popping it through, tightening, and then distressing. So at this point, I'm kind of running out of hair. So I can do a few. Now I need a smaller elastic, right? that through and then we'll probably end there so now you just want to like go over and check your shape if there's places that you want to pull out more and you can see it kind of gives like a a very bless me full kind of fishtail braided look super easy guys so easy to do I know it looks like it's not easy to do but it's very easy so for her I'm going to make this into an updo so I'm actually going to take my little braid that we've made together and I'm just gonna take a bobby pin and kind of like needle and hook crochet type action. I'm going to take that bobby pin and almost sew it into the up style to secure it. And she won't scream if I hit her head, so that's kind of good. And I can like play and pull where I want to see more volume. I hate her hair right here. Drives me nuts, but make best with what I have. She was 20 bucks. Her hair is synthetic. So super easy, guys. Look how easy that was to do like a really pretty up style but you could totally leave it down like the braid look which would be so pretty on long long hair okay so now to finish her off I'm going to do a fishtail braid if she doesn't fall off the thing because I'm very rough when I do hair so a fishtail is different than a braid. A braid is three strands, a fishtail is two. So I'm gonna start with the piece, making sure I have the whole hairline in. It's weird, I'm like nervous to do hair live. I don't know why do makeup you can actually see my face right now you can't and I'm like ooh, kind of shaky back here all right everyone so two pieces right over left grab from the right I'm gonna add it into that other right piece that I had so then I'm gonna take a piece from the left and put it over the pieces that I've already joined on the right there's no way you could learn this without having one right next to you doing it while I do it. But So again, I'm going to take that f a front piece from the right, cross it over. I'm going to take from the left, cross it over. I'm going to take from the right again, crossing over. So you can see it's still only two sections. A lot of times if you're not used to a fishtail, you'll be like, how did that turn into a three strand braid? And our hands want it to, so you really have to make sure you keep those sections 
separate. And this is my last section. So now I'm going to turn this into a fishtail. So fishtail is two pieces. I'm going to take from the back, bring it into the center. Her hair is so slippery, so take from the back again on the left, bring it into the center. Take from the right in the back, bring it into the center. Take from the left, bring it into the center, take from the right, bring it into the center, left, center, close our hair so tangled, right, center, left, center, right, center. I know it kind of looks like a braid, but it doesn't. It looks more like a fishtail. A braid's a little different. If this was a human being, they'd be screaming by now. Okay, so Ratchet, she's brand new too. All right, left center, right center. Left center, right center, left center, right center, left center, right. So you get the hang of it, hopefully. They gotta practice. I was recording this whole tutorial and then my phone decided it had no storage, so. I said, well, then I guess I'm just going to go live because then I don't need storage. Now I'm going to take a rubber band and put it on the end of this one. And then these are really fun to distress. I do this with all my braids too. So you take little pieces from each side and you pull gently just to give it some volume. Like everyone sees those like super huge fat braids on Pinterest and Instagram. This is how you do it. So you pull, pull, pull. I'm going to take some out just to give her like a swoop in the front. And then I'm going to take this braid and kind of just add it into the updo to give it some more interest. So I would take that and kind of with the bobby pin attach in there. Uh, 
and then I will take the other end and be put hide it inside. So if I was gonna hide this, I would take that and kind of wrap it. I wish she had a better part up here, but like I said, 20 bucks can't be given a miracle. And then you just keep playing until you like the way the shape looks. You always want to back up and look at it from a distance because sometimes the shape looks good up close and then when the person, you see them walking away, you're like, oh no, what the hell? It looks like the predator. All right, so that is it, guys. I turned that cool mermaid braid into like a really pretty updo. And now you guys have the skills to do it also at home. Hopefully Nivea will like this one to put a pretty hair piece in. Her poor head right here. Looks like somebody smacked her, but that's her, not me. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little updo. I would love to say goodbye to you guys, but my face looks like nothing's on it. I really don't want to be on camera. Pranny. Hope you guys have a great Sunday. Bye.